It's easier to do my work when now I'm back in the classroom. We still have to wear a mask, but we get to play together. The best part about being back in person is uh, really seeing each other and really interacting with uh, the classmates that we haven't seen for in over a year. Face-to-face -face interaction is like just one of the most important things for us, and it's really irreplaceable. Seeing people around the halls and getting to interact with people was one of the most exciting things I get to see now that schools are coming back. Being able to do ASB now in person is super exciting because I'm one of those people that doesn't like to sit down. I like to move. So being able to stand up, talk to my teacher while she's talking to other people or doing something hands-on, like doing that kind of stuff was super fun for me, especially starting off with homecoming right off the bat. And that was, that was just thrilling. We all went into this profession for a reason. And one of those reasons is that we get to interact with kids in person on a daily basis. It's, it's why we chose this profession. It's one of the highlights, I can say for sure, of my day. It's the best part of my job. And not being able to do that uh, was really difficult. Last year, Friday, March 13th, 2020, the front office staff met right away that same day to come up with a game plan. Obviously, it happened really fast with no planning, so we had to pivot really quickly. So my team and I had lots of discussions, and I think the first thing that we had to decide was what we were gonna teach, because obviously we couldn't teach the same things that we had planned before that. I have three boys that attend Oak Mesa Elementary, and um, Oak Mesa has been really supportive with the distance learning. Those qualities we always hope for in our students, that grit, perseverance, you know, not giving up, not stopping even when you're frustrated. This was my turn to have those kind of qualities <laughs> with mixed success. You know, I think I did pretty well with it, but it was definitely a learning curve. There's no doubt that the past 15 months have been challenging and certainly it's been unprecedented. However, the district's mindset was not to allow these challenges to consume our time. Instead, we committed that our goal was to be stronger as an organization. Unlike March of 2020, when everything came to an abrupt stop, we knew that it would be more complicated to return students to in-person instruction. Now, I'm proud to report roughly 75% of our students are receiving instruction in a classroom. It was important to the Benita School District to provide vaccines to our, our staff in particular in order to facilitate reopening schools in April. That was our target. It was uh, like every department, including the school, really contributed to making this happen, particularly in such a short period of time. The first day welcoming kids back to campus was like bringing the joy and the light all back to school and to teaching. I think we were nervous because we weren't exactly sure how it was going to work with the kids in the classroom and the kids on Zoom. Um, so there was a little bit of nervousness about like would all the tech and everything work out. But the overall feeling was just excitement and joy, like it was back. Bringing students back to campus was extremely important to us. There were a lot of things that became clear to us during the pandemic, and one of those was how vital it is to have students and teachers in the same physical classroom together. Our teachers did an outstanding job preparing our distance learning program. However, nothing can substitute in-person instruction. This in-person instruction in the spring will serve as a springboard to prepare us for an eventual return to normal, full-scale, in-person instruction. I'm really just excited to have more and more students in my classroom. We've been able to bring all the kids who are willing to be in person back at once, and that has just felt even more warm and exciting. I'm excited to be back in school. One of the pleasures has been the, the hum of children talking and playing and laughing. It's something that you get used to and it becomes a regular part of your day. And to have that back is awesome. And so I'm looking forward to having that be a regular part of my day. As the superintendent, I'm so grateful for all the work and the dedication of our students and staff. During this school year, we had three transitions in how we deliver instruction. But each transition is one step closer to returning to life before the pandemic. And it is certainly one step closer in the healing process. Benita Unified has developed a very strong plan to help our students. Summers in both 2021 and 2022, we're planning a robust summer school at the elementary, middle, and high school levels. We're also planning on hiring additional certificated staff at our elementary schools to provide both English language arts and math intervention. 
the secondary level, you will add a significant number of sections into the master schedule to intervene in the areas of ELA and mathematics. Additionally, we plan on hiring classified staff to provide assistance in the classroom to help with small group remediation. Anytime there's a challenge arises, I feel like there's an, always an opportunity for learning and growth. And I think that we as a district and we as a school and even in my little classroom, we grew. We did things that we didn't think that we could do. We built relationships through Zoom. I think it taught us as people to be more creative. Um, when something's not working, you've got to find another way to do it. And there were other ways to do it. So, and I think the kids learned that skill too. I would really like to thank every staff member at my school for getting me through everything I've been through and I really appreciate everything they've done for me, especially through this crazy year. So thank you. <laughs>